Hi, I'm Jason Sterling, and we're back today, this morning, this early Sunday morning, to do another build tutorial, quick build tutorial um, for building a corner kitchen sink uh, so that it, it stands at the corner, it's angled at the corner, and uh, you can look out those corner windows there. You saw the finished version there at the, in, at the intro. And uh, we're going to go with these five items. We've got the S-Cargo counters from the base game. We've got the Patrician Sink. I'll grab them so you can see their name there if you want to type it in to look it up. We've got the Patrician Sink from the base game. We also have the Source, which is a sort of a bathroom mirror from the base game. We've got the common upgrade part, also from the base game. This is almost a base game project, except that we also are going to use this. This is kind of like a lap guide. They call it the lap guide. It's from GT, from Get Together. And we also need to use that. And this is about the only thing that I've used, found that I use that works really well for this project. So even though this is almost a base game project, you also just almost have to have a get together, you know, for that part. It's the one that just really works well. The only thing I've really found that works really well. So uh, let's see here. The first thing that we're going to do, we have everything assembled. I even got my kind of clutter and junk over here that's going to go on the very end. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to knock out all of these walls. We're going to knock out all the walls here that surround the build because whenever you're dealing with, um, I mean, it's just a good idea whenever you're dealing with something like that source mirror that will auto click onto the walls because it will drive you crazy. In fact, it's virtually impossible. It's virtually impossible to place it the way we're going to with the walls in place. And like I said, it'll it'll drive you it'll drive you to drink. And it is way too early. It's only it's only in like Sunday morning here. It's way too early to drink. Um, it's it's not too early to take pills. You can take pills any time of the day. I mean, if you pull out a bottle of vodka at 8 a.m. on a Sunday morning, people kind of give you the look. You know, they give you that look. Uh, but you can pull out your prescriptions and take them any time of the day. It's really okay. But I'm not taking pills or vodka this morning. I'm only having uh, this coffee here in my lovely Charmander cup. He not only uh, keeps my coffee hot, he is also my favorite Pokemon. So uh, let's get started. Let's get on the build. I had a great, great little sip of coffee there. Give me the energy I need to get going on this build. And we're going to start with our S car go cabinetry. We're going to just place that like normal. Just let it kind of snap to the grid like normal. We're going to grab a couple of the standard, you know, uh, cabinets here that just face forward like this to build our corner out, flip that around, put that in there. Just so we're going to next take the patrician sink. We'll turn that on its normal grid snap there. Then we're going to press the alt button. And while holding Alt down, you slide the sink into place as so. Now, normally, you know, when I'm doing this, when I'm building a house, I'll like place it and test it, place it and test it, place it and test it to make sure that it's in the exact right spot because we want it slid back enough that it, that it looks normal, that it looks normal and that it can be hid here in a little bit, hid behind a panel. Um, but we also want it pulled out far enough that the sim can still use it. Because uh, at a certain point, they won't use it any longer. So we want it pulled out far enough that they can use it. Uh, and that's why I test it. In this case, I know right where it goes. I've done all the testing. I've done all the boring stuff. And if you just kind of follow this model, it will work. Then, uh, as you can see, though, it looks odd. It's setting right level with the cabinetry. You can see the tile. It looks really strange. So we're going to use the number nine. while Still while holding alt. I'm holding alt this entire time. We're going to press the number nine, lift it up one segment, so that it looks like it's kind of sitting like a vessel sink on the countertop. Once that's in place, we can, you know, just kind of click it into place and leave it there. And, and it looks great. Now it doesn't look great yet. It will look great. It works great. And it will look great. Once that's in place, we're going to grab our source mirror. We'll bring it over here. You can see it there. We're going to flip it all the way around so that the back is showing. We're going to slide it into place like so. It looks okay kind of right there where you can see kind of that wood molding detail if you want to go with that sort of look. We're not going to though. We're going to pull it out uh, just like that. We're going to kind of cover up that molding and make it a flat panel, give it a more contemporary feel. Part of that is because we're also going to cover up the ends of the cabinetry with you know, using this mirror as a sort of as a sort of end cap like this. We're going to just kind of slide it into place. Again, when I'm first building, I'm going to tinker, tinker, tinker with this. I might spend an hour trying to get that source 
mirror into exactly the right spot so that it doesn't stick out too far it doesn't stick in too far it doesn't you know it looks perfect uh right now i basically know where it goes it goes right there we're going to do one on each end and it does give us a very cohesive modern look as though this is you know a set of kind of modular uh cabinets with a with a traditional slant in a con you know in a contemporary way so we're going to pop that in there and we're done with that the next thing we'll use is this lane marker for swimming pools uh, again hold down alt slide it into place use the number nine button just keep pressing it until it lifts up and covers up that tile and we're going to slide it back i'm still holding alt this whole time we're going to slide it back until you know i don't want it to poke out of the front of the sink until it's not poking out of the front of the sink that's how far i slide it back click it into place when we're done we have a new base here for the sink for the water to run onto and it does stick out a little bit in the back but the great thing is uh since it's white it just looks like maybe we have a dish towel back there someplace you know maybe for dishes to drain and sit or um you know i put the plant on there a lot of times you put a plant on top of a towel so that when you're watering it you know if the water leaks over the water kind of gets caught anyway it looks normal it looks great that's another reason why this this particular part works so well the other reason is because it just happens to work the sim will still use the sink with it laying in there so uh, we grab the common upgrade part slide it back while holding alt lift it up with the number nine until it is just above the sink and then we're going to try to center it so that it looks again it's tedious see it'll pop up um but we want to slide it around until it just looks perfect i kind of use that middle opening in the drain in the back in those three those three dots in the back which are kind of the overflow drain i use that middle dot as kind of a guide and then i eyeball it it doesn't have to be perfect it just has to look perfect so when it looks okay with you lock it into place then we're going to just grab all of our clutter and junk you know we've got some paper towels there and some flowers and kleenex and just all the all the stuff that people have out on their cabinets uh, the hand soap we'll put back here by the flowers and then you know this little box of um i you know of spices i i don't know really know why you need spices there you don't i just grabbed them because uh you know it, this was a build challenge and i probably had 20 bucks left and i'm like hey let's just throw some, another box of crap out there on the counter because i've got 20 bucks left and people really like to see clutter and stuff out in a house at least some people do um you know really ideally a lot of times i leave it plain i do but people i know like that and it's easier for them to go through and just kind of delete stuff they don't like than to add stuff back in you know if, if they're going to download it on the gallery so that's why i throw some junk in there if you don't like junk don't put junk on it just you know maybe put the plant only the plant only would be nice there i think but you know do it your own way that is the point of this do it your own way pick out your own colors your own cabinets see how things work speaking of work we're going to go through here we're going to get our sim i'm going to go into live mode grab our sim there that's my vampire sim and he uh i'm clicking on the sink i've got lab lag here and i don't know has anyone else had lag i've had lag going from build mode into live mode um and this <laughs> is another thing makes me want to go ahead and just grab a drink but we're not going to we're going to just wait until it you know active there we go it activated uh we're gonna have him wash his hands as a as a test to make sure this works god i hope it works it always does work if i didn't get the sink in exactly the right spot it won't work but hopefully it will i think it will there he goes yes he's not he's he's using it he's not throwing up the little like you know the crazy bubble above his head that's you know like with an x or whatever over the sink and saying it, saying it won't work so it does work um i'll show you real quick here though when i talk about doing your own thing testing your own stuff this will be a good example i'm going to use this picture here you could use this uh for the center panel and the end panels if you're going for a more industrial look especially it kind of has an industrial theme look to it it's kind of got you know it's black it's got that x across it and stuff you know for the wires that would normally hang it on the back and it has a great look so that there's an example of something you could use different change the color of the cabinets change the cabinet style and then throw those on there you're going to have a more industrial look you can also use different sinks here really play around with it i mean you don't have to use this you can copy this as much as you want to put it in every build you want put it on the gallery i don't care um and so you know use this style use this tutorial you can do this over and over and over or play with it either way however you, however you like um 
That's about it. I'm about done. I will say, I was saying a minute ago before I got distracted, <laughs> which I get distracted easily. Uh, before I got distracted, that I, that's my vampire sim there. And I love the vampires. It might actually be about my favorite pack. I really do like it. They did such a great job with that pack. I love it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And uh, that we'll end with. We'll end it on a positive note of love uh, for the sims. And there we go. We're done with our corner sink. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please feel free to ask any questions at the bottom if you have a question about it. If there's something I didn't I didn't cover well, you can also you can also uh, see this in paper form or kind of like solid form, still form. I don't know what you call it, still form, in article form on the Sims community where I write articles. The link is there at the bottom, and so you can link on that and see kind of like still pictures and and words. You know, if you want to read it. Yeah, if you want to read it. It's there on the Sims community and some other articles by me. Please feel free to look them up, see my other videos. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe too. That'd be great. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.